The Overwatch team have done this before. The question is, will they do it again? And without us highlighting this issue and, and raising the discussion, there's less chance of them doing it. So let's do it in this video, guys. Now, Australia is on fire. It is burning. It is a major worldwide disaster. The, the wildfires are just completely out of control. Look at this. This is Australia, and this is a bunch of satellite images superimposed on top of each other and satellite data showing you the extent of the fire sites in Australia. Now, this isn't happening right now. These, these are the fires that have happened over the last couple of weeks. But the real kicker here is, guys, this is going to get worse in the next few weeks. In fact, next week, it's supposed to be even warmer and we're going into the proper bushfire season. So this could, in theory, get worse and worse and worse. And this is just a massive, major disaster. And Australia is massive, guys. Look at this. This is Australia superimposed on top of the United States. Imagine if the United States was on fire. Well, you don't really have to imagine that because a country literally the same size or kind of the same size is on fire and it's Australia and it's happening right now. This is a major global disaster which is happening right now. It is just like literally half a billion animals have died in this. It's just it, like the figures are baffling. So why are we making a video on this? What is going on? Now, this popped up on Reddit and it says this. It's from the user Whip It Gord, and this is it's just a it's a phenomenal um, post. This is so this is what they say. Hey, Blizzard, any chance of whipping up a couple of firefighter skins for Junkrat and Roadhog to raise money for the Aussie wildfires? You did it with Mercy for breast cancer research, and it was a great success. Even Junkrat would get on board with this. He wants to blow things up, not burn the world down. I mean, that's that's like this is this is one of those moments where an idea comes for the community. I mean, look at the interaction of that on Reddit. Look, it's got 13 gold. It's got, I don't even know what that other stuff is on Reddit these days. 63,000 upvotes. That shows you the power of the Overwatch community. It is it is massive, right? You guys might not play the game every day, but you know about the game. You're involved in the community and things like this crop up. And it is our duty to put this stuff out there and try and amplify the message. So they did do the Mercy um, event, you guys will remember, which was for this wonderful skin. Now, this skin was fantastic and this was awesome and it worked fantastically well raised millions of dollars for bcrf the breast cancer research foundation it's just phenomenal but this was in 2018 nothing happened in 2019 charity wise and i was kind of hoping we'd get a charity sort of event every year with blizzard that would be cool because it was a great way of highlighting streamers remember there was a lot of streamers that got highlighted with this uh, my friend queenie she did extremely well from this but not only that those streamers benefit Everybody benefits because, well, everybody's been touched by cancer in, in some kind of way. This skin, it's it, it was a beautiful skin. It still is a beautiful skin. You have the chance to buy it in the game. You get something, but also it's a charitable donation as well to the BCRF Foundation. Now, there will be the inevitable viewer out there going, well, Stike, we don't need a skin. Like, it, you know it's a disaster. You've just showed us this is a massive disaster. Just go and donate. Like, you don't have to buy some sort of item in a game to support this you can just go and donate right now and you totally can and there is a link in the video description to the wwf disaster relief website where you can go there and this is the bushfire emergency site and you can donate directly to this and these funds will go straight into helping fix the damage try and fight the fight there's just there's a lot it's it's such a complex situation um it's so difficult when people come from that point of view and go well sty just donate anyway because often you have to have something that you, you can connect with to amplify that message and, and sort of put it into your line of sight. Because we see things like this on the news and we just blank it. We're like, oh yeah, that's going on there. It's nowhere near us. The fact is it's happening on our planet, so we have to pay attention. So if you just want to donate, go ahead and hit the link in the video description below and donate away to WWF. There will be other charities. There will be Australian-based charities and stuff like that. But just for the purpose of this video, I've thrown that link in the video description below. If you do want to donate elsewhere, make sure it is a legitimate link before you go there and give your money because there probably will be unscrupulous people out there trying to profit from this scenario. So will they do it? This is the big thing. Now, I hope with videos like this, and I hope other YouTubers have done this. I hope streamers are talking about it. I know people on Reddit are talking about this. I've seen tweets on Twitter and stuff like that. This is the kind of thing we really need to talk about. And if the Overwatch devs can do something about this, I think that will be phenomenal. But I'm going to be the kind of uh, naysayer in the corner here where I don't think Blizzard can do what we want them to do with this in such short notice. If they do, then it will be a monumental effort from their side because Things like this are really complicated for a company to take part in. If they want to give to a charity, 
they have to first make sure the charity is legitimate. Obviously, in the case of WWF, it would be, but maybe they'd like to give to like the Australian firefighter charities, uh, maybe just like a, a national Australian charity, a bush charity. We, you just don't know, right? There's a lot of different things that go into that, so it would take quite a bit of time for them to get that together. Then you'd have to make the skins. Now, this is the big thing. Making a skin in Overwatch is probably a hell of a complicated process. You have to design the thing, build it in the game, and all of that stuff. Like, it's going to take a ton of effort to do that. So maybe a skin might be out of the, the reach of what we're trying to get here. So potentially, could they do something else? Maybe there could be an in-game spray. That would be a much easier thing to make. Or what about in-game, maybe even a voice line? Potentially contact the voice actors. Maybe they could put something together. Um maybe like a shout out to this on a map, possibly on Junkertown, um, or you could have like a player icon. But the thing is, a skin really does sell better. And that's what we're after here. Anything where we can come together as a community through Blizzard and Blizzard can help facilitate this would be fantastic. However, I think it is difficult. And, and if Blizzard do it, I mean, I guess we're issuing the challenge. Like it's been issued and I'm issuing it now. If Blizzard could do something like that, it would be ridiculous. You look at Overwatch, you look at this game, and what it is supposed to be built on. It's supposed to be built on this future Earth, well, near future Earth, where nations are represented, everybody is represented. So they've got these characters, they've got these locales in their game. They've got Australia, they've got Roadhog, they've got Junkrat, they've got the Junker Queen. Hammond as well, I guess you could say. He comes from Junkertown in a weird kind of way. They've got this lore, they've built this world. So when the real world starts having issues, they can start connecting it in and then going from there. There's only been two instances of that so far in the lifespan of Overwatch. The first one was BCRF, fantastic. Obviously it was a, a charity donation for a, a real world charity. And the second time was a Lego Bastion skin. Now I really hope we don't go down that path of just like that type of integration. I don't like that. I much prefer these type of initiatives that actually do something, that do what Overwatch set out to do right, which this sounds really cheesy, but Overwatch, it's there to, you know, change the world. It's to make the world a better place. May is a climate activist, right? What is going on in Australia is clearly a result of global warming. And Australia is just, it's a massive disaster, right? We, we're not going to go into a massive political debate in this video. But what I want you guys to just be aware of is this is a thing. So anything you can do to amplify the message of this would be fantastic. Because I'd really love it if we did see charity skins in the game to support this. Or at least something Blizzard could do within the time frame. Because I know making a skin is super difficult. So potentially they do something else. Like you guys could maybe come up with some ideas in the comments below. But yeah, this is what it's all about at the end of the day. We're a community and you have to push for things, right? All right, guys, I've been Salo, so this is Unit Lost. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember, you can like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and I do implore you to go and donate to these charities. By all means, donate to the WWF, donate to the uh, Australian, uh, the, the various firefighter charities and stuff, especially if you're Australian, you probably know where, where to donate, you know, for maximum effect. But yeah, we're just it's just about amplifying the message. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. And to all the Australian viewers and fans out there, I hope you're doing okay. I hope the, uh, the wildfires haven't, um, impacted you too much, which I know sounds like a stupid thing to say. I know I'm British. I live in a country where it rains all the time. In fact, it's raining right now. Um, you know, some things ain't fair. You know, I've got Australian friends on both coasts of, of Australia, east and west coast, and I think equally they're, they're noticing problems. And yeah, all right. Okay. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.